G'day everyone, it's Andrew Whitehouse here, and this week we're talking about regression. Now language regression is when children acquire language skills, but then there is a loss of those skills over time, and this most often occurs in early childhood. Now we do see language regression in about 20 to 30 percent of kids on the autism uh, spectrum, and of course this can be quite concerning. Um, what we don't know is a lot about the longer term outcomes of these children. So the study we uh, have linked to this week is actually a long term follow up study of around 400 children on the autism spectrum who didn't experience language regression, as well as 90 kids who did uh, experience language regression. Now there are two main findings. Firstly, we often, uh, most often saw language regression uh, for kids who acquired word level speech quite early in life. The second major finding, and this is a really encouraging finding, is that over the long term, the kids who experienced language regression actually didn't have significantly worse language profiles compared to the kids on the spectrum who didn't experience regression. So the main takeaway here is that while absolutely language regression can be alarming at the time, on average, when we study these kids over a long period of time, the kids who experience language regression don't have significantly worse language outcomes compared to other kids on the spectrum.